everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna be doing a video of me doing my own pedicure um i haven't done any of these videos because uh usually i just do my own pedicure at home uh or usually i just polish my toes because my feet are never really just rough um so i am gonna be doing the 12 step tammy taylor pedicure and of course i'm gonna be using the tammy taylor products but i'm also gonna be showing you some of the other pedicure kits that i have so you don't necessarily have to use the tammy taylor that's just what i already have open um so for one i'm using or i have this one which is by gina the perfect pedicure so it's like the really small kit so all it come with is a deep cooling gel which is the blue one it comes with what is this leg foot and leg lotion um the other one is i can't see it foot bath and then the other one is another lotion so it only comes with four different products so I feel like this one, I mean, it doesn't have a scrub, it doesn't have a cuticle uh, remover, so you definitely would have to, you know, have additional products to be able to use this one. And I believe this one's from like Sally's. I got it from one of my competitions that I did. Um, and then I also have this one. We actually used these when I was in college uh, for cosmetology. And these are by Christine Ashley. And this one actually comes with everything and it has the big bottles um act like I really don't even know where you would buy this one like I said this one as well as everything else that I have were given to me as prices from the nail competitions so this one comes with bare bare feet clean bare feet soak it comes with the scrub the cream the cooling gel and it comes with the clean sanitize it also comes with the pedicure slippers a pedicure brush or a eh, sorry or a manicure brush actually it also came with a foot file and it came with like toe separators as well as a orange wood stick so this one actually comes with everything i'll try to find the link to this one and leave it down in the description like i said both of these were given to me um the tammy Taylor one comes with the moisture lotion the sanitize sanitize it comes with the antibacterial soft soak um it comes with nail polish remover exfoliant scrub and it also comes with cuticle oil and cuticle remover so like i said these are the ones that i'm going to be using only because i've already used it before so they're already open and i don't want to have to open one of my new packs and then i also have like two or three of the opi pedicure kits i didn't want to take them out um, i've used that one before and it comes with everything as well as far as the products it doesn't come with like a pedicure scrub or a pedicure brush or slippers or none of that just the products and then i'm also going to be using my little like manicure kit so i'm gonna be using this and really out of here i'm probably just gonna be using this little cuticle remover which i never use i just remember that i had one and i seen a video where the girl was using it so i'm gonna be using this one and then i don't like to cut my toenails down i like to just file them down but if you like to cut them down then you would have to use or you would need a nail clipper and that's really it so yeah we're gonna go ahead and get started oh yeah and then i'm also gonna be doing i'm just gonna do white polish so i also have a base coat and i have a top coat i have a nail file i have a buffer cotton balls to remove my polish and i also have a pair of nippers in case that i need them but i don't usually use them and then i have a little dap and dish and a brush to clean around my cuticle area if i need to and then i need to get a brush and that's gonna be it and we're gonna get started Alrighty, so i've already filled my tub up so now i'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and i'm gonna be using the antibacterial soft soak and all you have to do is just pour this into your tub and you can choose your temperature whatever if you want it hot if you want it warm or whatever 
So uh, I'm gonna let that go ahead and run. And the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do steps one through five. Like I said, this is a 12 step pedicure. So the first five steps you're gonna do while your feet are still dry. So the first thing would be to sanitize. So I'm gonna be using this Sanitize, Sanitize, Sanitize by Tammy Taylor. And it is in the scent peach. So I'm just gonna spray my feet. Okay. After I do that, I am going to remove the polish. So once again, for that, I'm gonna use a cotton ball and then I'm also using the polish remover by Tammy Taylor. And all of these products are a peach scent. So when you're removing polish, all you wanna do is place the cotton ball. You wanna hold it and then rub and then you wanna just wipe off. Same thing on the other foot. So once again, we're going to get a cotton ball, soak it with acetone. And then when we're removing polish, we just wanna place the cotton ball, hold it for a few seconds. That way the polish is soaking a little bit. And then we just wanna rub and wipe it off. And the color that I just had on was Summer Sun by D&D and it is a regular polish of course. Alrighty, so the next step will be to clip down your toenails. Like I said, I don't like to cut my toenails down. I only like to file them down. So whenever you are cutting down toenails, you wanna make sure that you cut them straight across. An example, so like I said, if you were cutting down toenails, you wanna make sure that you cut straight across. You don't wanna cut to the sides because that will cause ingrown toenails. So make sure that you cut straight across and you would just use a regular nail clipper or you could also use a straight edge cuticle um sorry not cuticle but nail clipper so since i'm not gonna cut them i'm just gonna go in with a nail file and i'm just gonna shape them up remember when you're filing you just want to go side to side if you want them curved then of course you would curve them over to the side or so if you want it rounded you would just round them over on the sides but i like my toenails straight across So like I said, I like my toenails straight across and I also don't like them really, really short. So that's why I did leave a little bit of length on them. So we're gonna do the same thing to the other foot. I am going to be cutting this one down because one side is a little bit longer so I'm going to just go ahead and cut it to make them even.
Okay, so I cut them, or sorry, I filed them straight across. So that was step one was sanitize. Step two was remove polish. Step three was cut or clip toenails. Four was shape nails. So the next one would be to apply the cuticle remover. Now I'm gonna go in and apply this cuticle remover and I'm just gonna apply it to each toenail. All right, so now I'm just gonna rub it in. Then we're gonna put our feet in the water and I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. And it does have the vibration and heat and I actually got this pedicure bow from Goodwill. It was brand new. I believe somebody from like a beauty like salon or somebody donated some stuff because they had a lot of stuff but this is the only thing I got. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off and let my feet soak for about 10 minutes. So step number six is I'm going to just go in and pat it dry. So then now I'm going to go in with my foot file. So I am using this Tammy Taylor foot file, which is their, what is this? Their large terminator foot file. And you can do this step either while the foot is dry, but I like to go ahead and do it after they've already soaked. That way my callus are already a little bit softened so I'm just gonna go in with one side I believe let me see yeah I believe both sides are the same one now this one's coarse and this one's a little bit more softer so I'm gonna go ahead and file um, as you can see it's kind of already flaking up from it from it being soaked so usually you want to focus on your heel part like over on the side and then on this side as well or at least that's where I have to file a little bit more so once again, I'm going to go in with the coarse side and I'm just going to file. I honestly didn't think that I have that much dead skin and I know this is disgusting but this is also from the foot bath or not foot bath but from the soak so it is a little bit like creamy I guess and then I also had lotion on my feet so I'm hoping that that's where that's from but um, I never usually have a lot of dead skin. So I'm going to put this foot back in there and I'm going to do the same thing to the other one. And you don't have to put your foot back back in there, but I am. So now I'm going to go in with the other side, which is the softer side, and I'm going to just go ahead and scrub again just to smooth it out. I'm going to put that one back in. Same thing to the other one. So I'm going to go in with the softer side. Okay, so I just went back with the smooth part, so I'm going to put that one back in, and then I'm going to take the other one out. I'm going to dry it off again, 
and then this time I'm gonna go in with a cuticle pusher so I'm using this cuticle pusher it came in the nail kit that I got from McCart and I'll leave the link in the description for that as well and I'm just gonna push back those cuticles I'm gonna do the same thing to the other one. Sugar, watch out. Okay, so now I'm just going to go in with my buffer and I'm just going to buff the surface of the nails. A lot of the time our nails like to get ridges in them so this is just so they're nice and smooth. And you do want to make sure that you buff them good because if not you will be able to see those ridges through your polish. Okay, so after that, we're going to go in and either nip away some of that loose skin. You don't want to nip away your actual cuticle because it will grow back thicker. So I'm just going to use this, which is a cuticle remover. Like I said, you don't have to use these. Um, the only reason why I'm using it is because I found it in my stuff. So, yeah. Alrighty, so with this one, we're just literally going to remove like the, the dead skin from the side of our toenails. And all you literally have to do, so like, it has two little openings, so I'm going to show you on my thumb. So you literally just scrape down like that, and as you can see, it just removes that dead skin. Once again, you literally just go in and go down, and it removes that dead skin. So we're going to do the same thing on our toes. I'm going to show you again on my finger. So you just go in and make sure you don't press down too hard because you will like cut yourself if you do it too hard. So you see how it's able to remove that dead skin really easily. Or like I said, you can use a pair of nippers, but it's easier to go in with these. thing for the other foot once again we just go straight down the side and usually I only get really bad dead skin around my big toe the other ones not so much so you will see that there's more dead skin on these Alrighty, so I went back and removed that dead skin from my toenails or around my toenails. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the exfoliant scrub. And I'm just going to do one foot first. So what you want to do is just, sorry. What you want to do is just pour some in your hand. And we're just going to massage this into our foot. And it does have like a scrub like an actual scrub in there so this is going to smooth out your skin
you do want to make sure you get it in between your toes on your heel on the sides just everywhere and just rub it in really good Alrighty, so now I'm going to put that foot back in and I'm going to do the same thing to the other one. Stop sugar. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that from my feet. Just rinse it off. And then I'm gonna dry it. Same thing for the other one. Make sure you get all of it off. And then we're gonna dry it as well. So we're gonna use this moisture lotion. And this is the part where you do the foot massage. Now I'm not gonna do a whole massage because um, I actually have jeans on, but you wanna go from their foot all the way up to their knee and just massage really good. This is the part that will keep your clients coming. So make sure that you do a really good job because this is the part that they remember. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the other one all out and dry it off too. Like I said, I'm not going to do a full massage because I have jeans on. So I'm just going to squirt some lotion or the moisture lotion on my hand. And I'm just going to massage it on my foot or just put it on my foot. And I can already tell how freaking smooth my feet are. My heels feel like a baby's butt. Okay, so after this, you could do a warm towel on their feet, but I'm just going to move over to the polish application. So I'm going to go ahead and remove some of that lotion from my toenails. I'm just going to use that same nail polish remover. So as you guys remember, we've already um, buffed the nails earlier, so I just want to get that lotion off. So as you can see they look a lot better and those cuts are actually from not too long ago I fell and I scraped both of my toes but they look much better my heels are really really soft so now I'm gonna go in and do my polish like I said I am gonna be doing this no flakes by dandy which is just a regular white for my base coat I'm gonna use this OPI nail envy nail straightener and then for my top coat, I'm going to be using this, I don't even know how to say it, Chete, I don't know. I'm going to be using this one for a top coat. And then I am going to use a little dappin' dish with some nail polish remover to clean around my cuticle area. So for this part, I'm going to be using a different chair only because I want to be up closer so you guys can get a better view and I need something to rest my foot on. So I'm going to put my foot up on the chair. Like I said, I've already wiped my nails off with um, polish remover, but you can use anything that you want. And that was just to remove the oil from my toenails. So like I said, I'm going to go in with this Envy Nail Strickner and you can use whatever base coat that you want. And we're just gonna do a thin layer of this. All right, so we did the base coat, and this one dries really, really fast. So then now I'm gonna go in with our 
snowflakes it is a regular polish and it is just a white so now that they are dry i'm gonna go in with my top coat and we're gonna do the same thing we're just gonna do one coat on both feet Alrighty, so that was it for the pedicure. Once again, we used the Tammy Taylor pedicure products and I went in with a white polish. As you can see, I had a little bit of a hard time with the white polish. Um, I did realize that a lot of the white polishes come a little bit thicker. Um, I did one coat of the DND Snowflakes as well as one coat of the La Palme uh, Pure White and they both were a little bit thicker um, even though they're almost brand new so I'm not sure what the issue was. It was almost to the point where I was going to end up doing a different color, but I stuck to the white. So I'm letting them dry, and yeah, so this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram at GetNail32, and I'll see you guys next time.